XAI has just unveiled its most powerful AI yet, Grok 3. And according to Elon Musk and his team, it's not just an upgrade, it's a game changer. In AI terms, that means it's about 10 times more powerful. This isn't just marketing hype. This level of improvement is rare in AI development. The secret? A massive data center in Memphis, Tennessee, running on 200,000 graphics processing units, GPUs. That's right, 200,000 GPUs, all working around the clock. Some even call it the Colossus Supercomputer, a behemoth designed to push AI technology to its absolute limits. The scale of this operation is mind-boggling. Imagine rows upon rows of GPUs, humming away 24 sevenths, processing enormous amounts of data to train Grok 3. The energy consumption alone is staggering, requiring cutting-edge cooling systems and power management to keep the entire system running smoothly. It's a technological marvel, but also a reminder of the immense resources needed to develop such advanced AI. But let's talk numbers. How does Grok 3 compare to other big players like OpenAI's GPT-4, Google's Gemini, or DeepSeek's models? According to internal benchmarks from XAI, Grok 3 outperforms them in key areas, math, science, coding, and problem solving. And these aren't just vague claims. The benchmarks include tests like AIM, a highly respected math competition benchmark, and GPQA, which tackles PhD-level questions in physics, biology, and chemistry. These are tough tests and Grok 3 is reportedly leading the pack. Even more impressive? The smaller versions in the Grok 3 family are holding their own. In Chatbot Arena, a platform where different AI models go head-to-head -head in live competitions judged by real users, these compact Grok models are still performing at top levels. That's a big deal in a world where even slight performance gains can make or break an AI model. Now Grok 3 isn't just a single model, it's an entire family. There's the standard Grok 3, Grok 3 Mini, Grok 3 Reasoning, and Grok 3 Mini Reasoning. The reasoning models are designed for complex thought processes. They use a method called chain of thought prompting, which helps the AI think through problems step by step, much like how humans solve complex puzzles. This allows Grok 3 to explain its reasoning, not just spit out an answer. But here's the twist. XAI has hidden certain parts of Grok's reasoning process. Why? To prevent dilation, a technique used by developers to extract knowledge from established models. This means competitors can't easily dissect Grok 3's inner workings, keeping its most advanced features under wraps. So, what can Grok 3 actually do for you? First off, it's fully integrated into X, formerly Twitter, making it easily accessible to millions of users. It's also available on grok.com and through a dedicated iOS app. If you're on X's Premium Plus subscription tier, you get immediate access to Grok 3. But there's more. A new subscription tier called Super Grok is on the horizon. It's expected to cost around $30 a month or $300 a year, though official pricing hasn't been confirmed yet. Super Grok unlocks powerful new features. One standout is Deep Search, an advanced research tool that scans the internet, pulls data from X, and delivers highly detailed summaries. You can even filter your search to focus on specific sources or websites, giving you unparalleled control over the information you receive. Another feature is Big Brain Mode. This setting tells Grok 3 to spend more time analyzing your query, resulting in more comprehensive and accurate answers. It's especially useful for complex topics like scientific research or intricate coding problems. And the innovation doesn't stop there. Musk has announced that a voice mode is on the way, expected within a week. This feature will let users interact with Grok 3 using spoken commands and receive responses in a synthesized voice, much like current voice assistants, but with Grok 3's enhanced capabilities. Hey Grok, what's up? Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm so excited to finally meet you. I can't wait to chat and learn more about each other. I'll talk to you soon. In live demos, XAI showcased Grok 3 mapping out a hypothetical space mission from Earth to Mars, a clear nod to Musk's SpaceX ambitions. They also demonstrated Grok 3 coding a game described as a cross between Tetris and Bejeweled, highlighting its potential in game development. Grok 3 also excels in real-time problem solving. It can tackle advanced math and science questions, generate images, and even analyze visuals. 
This places it firmly in the multimodal AI category, alongside models like GPT-4 and Google Gemini. But XAI isn't just competing on features, it's also diving into the business side of AI. Musk recently filed two lawsuits against OpenAI, accusing them of abandoning their original mission to create open, beneficial AI. He even offered nearly a trillion dollars to buy OpenAI's nonprofit arm, a deal that was swiftly rejected by CEO Sam Altman. Both companies are also in a funding frenzy. Musk is seeking $10 billion to boost XAI's valuation to $75 billion. Meanwhile, OpenAI is aiming to raise $4 billion, pushing its valuation to a staggering $300 billion. XAI isn't just targeting OpenAI, it's also going after Google's Gemini and China's DeepSeek. DeepSeek recently open-sourced its R1 model, allowing developers worldwide to build on its foundation. Musk has hinted that Grok 3 will eventually be open-sourced too, but only once it's mature and stable. Building AI models at this scale isn't cheap. Beyond their colossal GPU data center in Memphis, XAI is reportedly finalizing a $5 billion deal with Dell Technologies to acquire AI-optimized servers. Meanwhile, global tech giants like SoftBank, Oracle, and Abu Dhabi's MGX are pooling between $100 billion and $500 billion to construct even more AI supercomputers in the U.S., it's an AI arms race, with companies throwing billions into bigger, faster, and more capable AI infrastructure. One of the most intriguing aspects of Grok 3 is its edgy approach. Musk initially promised that Grok would be unfiltered, willing to tackle controversial topics that other AIs avoid. However, early testers found that Grok and Grok 2 still refused certain political or sensitive queries. Musk blamed this on the biases present in the training data and has pledged to make Grok as politically neutral as possible. For now, Android users might feel left out. The dedicated Grok app is currently only available on iOS, but Android users can still access Grok through the X app. Musk has promised that an Android version is coming soon. Grok 3 is also evolving rapidly. Musk claims that users can notice performance improvements within just 24 hours as the model is constantly updated and refined. In the coming weeks, XAI plans to release an enterprise API, allowing businesses to integrate Grok 3's capabilities into their own platforms. Potential applications range from code generation and fraud detection to advanced data analysis and even medical diagnostics, provided regulatory standards are met. XAI is clearly positioning Grok 3 as a leader in the AI space. Whether it lives up to the hype remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, Elon Musk isn't slowing down. The future of AI is unfolding before our eyes, and Grok 3 is a massive leap forward. It's not just about smarter chatbots or better search engines. It's about creating tools that can think, reason, and solve problems in ways that were once thought impossible. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Grok 3, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.